Mihailo Tkac is fighting for justice in court in several cases of attacks against him. That's because he's a journalist with Schemes, an investigative program of Radio Free Europe Radio Liberty. In 2017, Tkac was assaulted by private security guards of the pro-Kremlin politician Viktor Medvedchuk. That same year, employees of the Ukrainian State Security Administration attacked Tkach and his cameraman in front of this posh restaurant. The attack happened as a son of Yuri Lutsenko, then Ukraine's prosecutor general, celebrated his wedding at the restaurant. Many top Ukrainian officials were among the guests. Таких випадків багато, ну а вже ж це не нормальна ситуація, як і для будь-якої людини. І дуже часто ось ці люди, які скоюють ці напади і перешкоджання, вони чомусь вважають, що ми нормально це сприймаємо. Але це не так. Кожен такий випадок – це вже ж стрес і для, і для мене, і для родини, яка там потім дивиться це відео. І я не можу сказати, що до цього можна звикнути. According to the Institute of Mass Media, the freedom of speech violations declined in Ukraine after the 2013-2014 Euromaidan revolution, which ousted then-President Viktor Yanukovych. However, Ukrainian journalists still face violent attacks and even murder for doing their job. In 2018, arsonists set fire to the office of the Četverta Vlada, the fourth estate, an investigative media project in Rivn, a city located 320 kilometers to the west of Kyiv. Četverta Vlada was known for investigating large-scale corruption. Journalists said that the aim of the attack was clear, to threaten them and hinder their work. Since Ukraine gained independence from the Soviet Union in 1991, more than 50 journalists have been killed across the country, including eight since 2014. Most of the crimes have been poorly investigated and many of the killers have not faced justice. While Tkach is fighting for justice in the attacks on him, he believes that these unsolved murders only encourage violence against journalists. The arrest of Georgia Gonghadze, Pavel Sheremeta is a 100% signal for people on the side of the heroes of our material, who already understand that in Ukraine you can be able to get a lot of journalists and do such things as the arrest and you can be able to get into the arrest. Georgi Gangadze, founder of the Ukrainska Pravda news site and a prominent critic of ex-president Leonid Kuchma, was murdered in the year 2000, an event that became emblematic of the dangers facing journalists in Ukraine. Gangadze's killer is serving a life sentence in prison. However, the people who ordered his killing are still at large. 16 years after Gangadze's death, journalist Pavlo Sheremet, the executive director of Ukrainska Pravda, was killed in a car bombing in central Kyiv. The police only managed to arrest suspects in the killing three years later. However, it soon became clear that the evidence against them is not strong. Anna Babinets, chief editor of Slitsvo.info, started an independent investigation of the Sheremet murder. Ми бачили, що це якісь очевидні речі, але правоохоронці їх з якихось причин пускали. Та ну для нас насправді найважливіше було зрозуміти з яких причин, чи це просто непрофесіоналізм, та коли забули, упустили, нікого не було, пропустили це місце. Чи це робилося навмисно? Напевно, це питання для нас постає майже в кожній історії, яку ми тут в слідстві інфо робимо. Ukraine ranks 96th out of 180 countries in the 2020 World Press Freedom Index. І як на мене, зараз хороший час для журналістики розслідувань в Україні, і це не означає, що все абсолютно безпечно, але тим не менше, якщо порівнювати з часами там до революції гідності там, зараз працювати Якщо можна так сказати, да, трошки безпечніше. Де може щось статися? Думати, я взагалі намагаюся не думати про якісь наслідки. Я просто розумію, що я роблю правильні речі для суспільства. Я бачу реакцію суспільства, коли люди зустрічають на вулицях, там, в метро і дякують. Я розумію, що є підтримка, є реакція.